question. And we had Trevor just now. So if you just wanted to uh, talk with him a little bit about his performance so far this year and him kind of going back and forth between mid and center back. Yeah, I, I think he's got versatility to do both. Um, I think we prefer that he plays in the midfield for us. I think he does a good job moving the ball, um, whether it's from front to back, excuse me, back to front or side to side. Mm -hmm. He distributes the ball very well in the midfield, closes space down defensively, and he's a good presence. Awesome. Uh, Jeff, do you have a question? Yeah, Kurt, I was talking, or Kurt, Clint, I was talking with Kurt Anolfo <laughs> yesterday, uh, just about all the learning opportunities with the second team. And he said, you know, sometimes when you're implementing new systems and you're playing guys at different spots, you know, you're going to have some situations like you had last Sunday. So just how valuable are those learning experiences in those situations for, for the team and for the individuals? Yeah, I, I think for the staff, you know, we learn more about our players when we move them around a little bit where they feel more comfortable, maybe where they do better or, or a little worse. Um, so it's helpful to kind of get that understanding. And then I think for the players, it's just invaluable to kind of have a understanding of what some different roles are or, or um, whether it be an attacker who plays as a forward or a forward who comes plays in the midfield or whatever it might be. So I think for them, it just kind of helps evolve their game and you get to understand kind of the roles and responsibilities of the different uh, players on the field. Um, and then you've obviously this Toronto is another team that you played in USL and has gone two and two with them. Um, so what's kind of been your assessment of them so far in MLS next pro? Good team. Um, dangerous. Create a lot of chances, move the ball very well. Um, they are hard to break down when they're collective and compact, um, but they have been shown to uh, give some goals away. Uh, so we think, we hope uh, that we'll be able to exploit some of that against them, but they're tough. They, I don't think they've lost at home. So it's very difficult. It seems to go up to Canada and find a result. So we have our work cut out for us. Awesome. And then Jeff, do you have anything else? Sure. Uh I know it took uh, a little bit longer than you probably would have wanted to get Marcos Diaz in with the group, but he's had a chance to get in, get on the field a little bit. So how have you seen him kind of settle and how helpful do you think it is to, you know, through that adjustment process that he's got kind of a group of other established Brazilians here as well? Yeah, certainly the guys who've been here for a little bit have probably, he's probably the guy that benefits the most in terms of settling in a little quicker. Uh, on the field, he's got talent. Um, He's still getting used to playing not only with our guys, but the, the pace of our league. So I think as he grows more and more uh, accustomed to what it's like to play here, he'll, he'll feel more comfortable. But, but we certainly feel he'll um, contribute over the stretch of the season and uh, be impactful.